Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another reading for you guys. This is going to be the monthly readings for the month of May 2020. I know we're a bit behind. I do want to apologize. Also, I want to let you guys know, those of you guys that have messaged us, please be patient. We're trying to get through all the emails. Uh, we've been getting thousands and thousands of emails on an everyday basis. Unfortunately, we don't go through the emails on an everyday basis, so they've been we've been a bit backed up to say the least, um, as well as on social media. So please be patient with that, uh, with this craziness that's going on worldwide. <clears throat> uh, we're all currently wanting to make sure that our families are safe, as well as uh, you know making you guys a priority as well. So please, like I said, be patient with that. Okay. Let's get into your reading Capricorn. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2020. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. <sighs> Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to business and finances for this month of May. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles indicating to us that for this month of May, uh, you're going to start to feel more balanced when it comes to your finances, being able to um, balance out or even feel like you're being able to fulfill or to make uh, make meets end. Um, th there's almost this feeling of like, like <sighs> taking a deep breath. So I feel that for some of you guys, if you guys have been extremely like worried or anxious about your finances or perhaps not being able to pay the rent or not being able to uh, pay, you know, uh, your bills, whatever, whatever's going on in the present time for you, Capricorn, the Six of Pentacles is here to tell you that you will quickly start to balance or feel more balanced when it comes to your finances. I also do see um, money coming in for some of you guys. So if you guys have been, um, feeling or uh, not being able to, there's this frustration, I can't even express it. It's like this, like, oh, I want to get it out. I want to express what, what, what I'm feeling. And it's very difficult to do. So I think that for a lot of you Capricorns, it's really like, I feel that you guys are really into your emotions right now and into your head right now, because there is this fear about the future. So again, with the Six of Cups here, uh, things start to come to to you in a way that the universe is acknowledging like it's okay Capricorn things are going to get better uh, things are quickly going to start progressing in a very positive way it's almost a feeling like you've been standing still for quite a while and there's this hectic frustration attached to it so again if you've been having difficulties with your finances if you've been having difficulties with making meets and um with balancing your bills etc you know there's this sign of relief that you need to understand though you may not see what's coming towards you know and understand that spirit is working through you making things happen for you so have trust and faith okay all right so in regards to how you will be communicating for this month of may you have the hermit so you may be dealing with a Virgo. For some of you guys, you actually may be dealing with a Virgo that has or is very connected to your finances. This could be your manager. This could be your supervisor. This could be a person that is of a higher position than you. Um, where there's going to be like, they're really trying the best they can to help you out because they know that helping you out is going to basically help them. So again, especially for those of you guys that are in sales, I definitely see them like really wanting the, like really trying to push you, um, center stage and, and, and really, uh, do whatever they can to bring in clients, etc. because I feel that they know you're struggling, but at the same time, they're struggling themselves. So if I encourage you, if I am extremely positive towards you, I know that that's going to help you in your humor, in your attitude. So I definitely see them doing that. For a lot of you guys, in regards to communicating, I see you guys being um, more closed off for this month of May. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be residue energy of the past. So perhaps the end of April, you guys were more like internalizing what's going on, trying to figure out things about your life. 
Um, but I see you guys coming out of this because we do have the six of pentacles next to it. So I feel that this is like residue energy from the past where you were more like closed off for some of you guys being a uh, very internalizing everything that's going on, how you're feeling, your emotions. Uh, perhaps some of you guys even, um, doing things you've never done before, like meditating, that type of energy. Um, but I see you guys coming out of this. So I think it could have to do with like on a global scale, so how we've been feeling. And I know Capricorns, you guys are, you tend to be overthinkers. Um, so you guys are finally coming out of this funk you've been experiencing, okay? So you may feel um, like you haven't really been wanting to communicate or uh, to really text or respond etc but i definitely see you guys coming out of that so you guys are going to be more like go-getters you're going to start to feel more like yourselves again now in regards to the obstacle to overcome for this month you have the empress i see you guys resisting changes and this is nothing foreign to capricorns you guys are known to resist changes as much as possible but the Empress card is a very beautiful card because this signifies abundance, abundance that's coming to you. Um, although you may be feeling restrictive at, or have felt restricted at some point, um, with the Empress, there is new opportunities coming to you that could render you um, more income or, mo or more finances, as well as the opportunity to create life. So it could be like tapping into your creative outlook, um, really tapping into whether you're inspired to paint, whether you're inspired to write music, whether you're inspired to uh, write a book, whatever the situation may be, what they're telling you is listen to that because this is a form of expression and it's really going to help you express how you've been feeling. But not only that, this can actually turn into a passion that perhaps has been foreign to you up until now. So definitely a good thing. Um, now the the obstacle here with the empress is kind of like having the empress in reverse so the empress in reverse tends to be a bit selfish and i think that for some of you capricorns you may be experiencing like you've been selfish um okay so i'm getting two different messages for some of you guys it could be like um capricorns tend to self-sacrifice this is in your nature um but i feel that perhaps in the past two weeks there was like lack of communication. If people were texting, you weren't really responding. Um, or if they were calling you, you weren't answering. That type of energy. And it's center stage, you were being selfish. That's how you see yourself. But in, in saying you were being selfish, this was something that was highly needed. Now, if you guys remember, in the beginning of January 2020, with the Royal Conjunction, um, that we expressed and we explained about Jupiter going into Capricorn. This year was going to be about being selfish. Remember Capricorn. So selfish, not in a negative way, but selfish is as in that's how you see yourself because you're so used to self-sacrificing yourself to make others happy. And right now you may feel like I'm being selfish right now, but you're not. What Spirit is telling you is it's absolutely okay to internalize, to go within, to be checked out for a bit, to recharge your batteries. This was something that was needed. Why? Because you're going to come out of this Capricorn being extremely refreshed, being extremely inspired, being focused and determined. So this is definitely a good thing. I hope that makes sense. Okay. All right. So in regards to love and romance, Capricorn, love and romance, you have the King of Cups. Some of you guys may be dealing with a water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, for others of you, this could be this could be an energy of what spirit is telling you uh, with this card is keep an open heart capricorn um for some of you guys though i feel that for some you may be dealing with emotions that have to do with a water energy so this could be a person that was in your past this could be a person that is from your past that comes back around and tries to communicate with you for this month of may now I do want to mention, if at some point you felt that this person, the water energy, um, if at some point you felt like this person uh, really was not like emotionally open 
and you walked away from that connection i see them coming back around but i i do see them like they're ready like they're really wanting a relationship but i feel that what spirit is telling you right now is that your focus or your determination should be on working on yourself capricorn don't rush with this person with this person especially if this person is from your past okay i hope that makes sense now for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship what they're telling you here with the king of cups is i do see you guys being very amorous i do see you guys being very lovey-dovey for some of you guys this could be like being very compassionate um really like letting your partner know how much they mean to you and how much you care for them uh this could be like uh, being extremely thoughtful giving them roses chocolates uh just being extremely romantic and i feel that although capricorns are not known for that you guys are very practical so you will uh physically show or physically prove to your partner how much they mean to you if given the chance <laughs> All right, let's see what Spirit's um, overall message is for you Capricorns for this month of May. All right. Mm, Angel of Love. Yeah, I definitely sense that with this card. Um, even those of you guys that are currently single, I do definitely see love like surrounding you or being around you. A lot of people really like looking to you because you do have the Empress card here. And the Empress card could signify, signify sorry, uh, people really like being very physically attracted to you, or, like getting a lot of attention. And I see like a lot of people really looking towards you or like wanting to know about you or getting to know you. Uh, getting to know you sorry getting to know you better um and with the king of cups spirit is telling you keep an open heart capricorn keep an open mind um love is definitely in the air for you and those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship i do see you guys very like sexually active very passionate and intense uh so definitely embrace this uh capricorn i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment um i hope from the bottom of my heart that you guys stay safe that you and your loved ones are safe and we'll see each other soon bye